Hi everyone, today we have another Air Hogs toy here uh, from the Star Wars, uh, the new movie coming out. This uh, is also the Millennium Falcon. Uh, this Millennium Falcon is smaller. It's not an actual quadcopter or hexa or anything, it's just a helicopter. It only has one, uh, one propeller. Um, I would like to make a comparison of both of these. Uh, I have reviewed this one earlier. Uh, we established that this is a cool toy for a beginner quadcopter pilot. Uh, it's made out of foam. It's good for inside. Um, it is not good for outside. It gets blown away by the wind very easily. Uh, it has a very slow yaw, but it's fun to fly for somebody that likes Star Wars and that uh, is uh, maybe a new quadcopter pilot. Um, this one here I haven't opened and I would like to um, see how, how it performs also. I, I believe it's made out of the same material, we'll find that out. And uh, just kind of compare them and see how they stack up against each other. Now this is pretty cool and interesting. It actually has two propellers. It has one propeller on the bottom and it has one propeller on the top. It's also uh, just like we have had predicted. It's uh, it's made out of the same type of foam. Uh, it's a Nerf ball kind of foam. That's my best description of it. Um, but this one also has a little bit of plastic, so it has some plastic on there. Uh, all that was in the box were uh, the instructions, which are good English. Extra instructions, legible, understandable English, and uh, the quadcopter. The I keep calling it a quadcopter, the helicopter, and and the and the remote. So um, it does have a little knob right here. I'm not sure what this little knob's for yet. Uh, on and off button there. So pretty straightforward. There's only two things that you can do with each stick. You can go side to side with the right one here and with the left one you can go up and down so um, maybe they've done that to simplify the process of flying for the beginner I'm not sure yet um, also this remote doesn't have the the buttons on the on the back here or at least not that I can tell there's no buttons it, it's just um, maybe something that you can use to hold your hand to for your finger but um, the charging system is the same as with the other one. You can use the remote to charge the the, the copter. Uh, this one, uh, you cannot replace the battery either. It's, uh, it's a rechargeable battery in the in the copter. A uh, little off and on button right here. I went ahead and put uh, batteries in here, so it's got four double A batteries. That's all it takes. Fire. Whoa, okay, cool. Um, it's pretty loud. I can, it's definitely louder than the other one. Um, so let's see. Whoa, okay, I gotta get used to this. So, um, so this can be up and down and side to side. How do you go forward? Is what I'm okay. Um, that's been two failed attempts to take off, and I have actually flown stuff like this before, so I'm wondering what's going on. All right, to go up. Okay, yeah. So, all right. So there. We go. After several tries of a fully charged battery of trying to fly this thing, I it's it's very hard. It, it, right out of the box is it's just extremely hard to get it to get something going. I'm actually a little frustrated because um, I was I was expecting something um, a little easier, especially since it's advertised for children uh, eight years old. And, and up 
I don't know what this little thing does. Okay, so if you turn this little knob to the side here, um, it, 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 I guess it's a little less sensitive and you can move it around like that, but still, it's, it's not easy. Uh, this one here, you do the same thing and turn on the remote uh, and then turn on the quad and first of all the lights are cool and the little thing is pretty resistant but uh, once okay so the propellers are going but this one is it's a pretty stable flyer and pretty I mean once you get used to it it's pretty easy to fly so I was not able to fly that other one very well. Came down to spending 60 something dollars or 50 something dollars for this and spending um, around, I don't know, 70 to, 70 to 100 for this. This is a piece of junk. This, on the other hand, is something kind of cool to have. Uh, it's not uh, the greatest quad ever, but it's it's uh, it, it it's something that you can actually play with and have fun. I don't know how anybody can have fun and play with this.